Before we move on, let's let's give okay. let's give the people the information of what what did happen this Sunday when the when the when the two groups got together because there was some concessions that were made, and I'm going to need your help understanding this one. First of all, why do they want to make the bases larger? La, less potential for collision at first base because that's like you get some pretty gruesome injuries at that. Like, okay, so when the first baseman is stretching, standing at the corner for the throw. Yeah, but you've seen a lot of times that, like, guys are just hustling down and they might, like, step on that guy's ankle right there. No, they're going to make or, it a rectangle where it goes down the first baseline? <laughs> or not down, no, sorry, they, down from first to second base so the first baseman's further away from the running from the first baseline? I, I would assume so. They're probably just going to expand the square a little bit. <laughs> um, but that also, like, allows – because think about it, right? Like if that base is a little bit farther off the first baseline, mm -hmm. if that first baseman has to move up the base a little bit to get an an errant throw, it kind of changes the angle and potential for a like big collision right there at first base. Okay, so I, I think it, I think it's a majority for like the first base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one cares about that base. Guys get slid into all the time. Oh well. They've they've changed that rule too, right? If you're like, there's no more takeout oh, slides. God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go look in the seventies when guys were breaking up double plays. How they did it? Oh my yeah, god! When they didn't even hit dirt, they just bent at the waist and like hip check. No, they just cross yeah. bodied the second baseman or the shortstop. I know, right? So like a larger <laughs> base isn't going to help with that. But all yeah, right, so that, that, that's, 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 the pitch clock. We've been hearing about this for years to try and speed yeah. up the game. It, People one way or the other. This one I cannot get behind, AJ. Banning the shift. Yeah, I don't it like is it. your job as a professional hitter to yeah, don't like it. figure out what to do when they shift. Here's an idea. You could bunt. If the whole freaking defense is on the, between the first and second base, you, you could bunt it down the, the baseline and crawl your way to first base in time. Did you see the stat this week? Which one? They looked, they looked at Division One baseball, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And for bunts oh. down the third base line, there's a batting average of 533. Yes, I did see that. Yeah. So, like, but, I mean, yeah. even beyond that, like, Look, the, let's be honest. Okay. The bunt's not sexy. We get no, it, right? Not. But here's the thing they shifted on Ted Williams yeah. all the time. And he still found a way to hit 406. You know what else is not sexy? Striking out. All the damn time in the hopes of hitting a home run. Here's an idea. Go back to basics. Learn how to hit the ball in the right spot. Have you ever heard Chipper Jones talk about hitting? Push your bullet. You ever heard Chipper Jones talk about hitting? A hundred times. <laughs> you know, like his thing that he said? He goes, when I stood up to the plate, my goal was to hit the ball through the outfield wall. Through it, not over it. Right. Through it. Hard, hard hit balls. Yeah, 